Hippopotamus and Tone of Avidia Matter is then actually explores abandoned chateau, which was actually a hotel before it went abandoned. Um, the history behind it, a man actually owned this in England, or from England, and the council or government took it away from him because he wasn't like doing, keeping up any good work on it or whatever. And the council bought it off him, and then they left it or empty, and some and then some homeless people come in and actually vandalise this building, which is absolutely beautiful. And the cost amounted up to like five thousand or five million um, euros. And the person who owned this um, is actually suing the um, council. Um, the amount of money of what he's lost in like vandalism to the council and now it's just been left abandoned really but my god it's absolutely beautiful and in its last like stages it used to be a hotel or started to become a hotel and then it went abandoned but yeah this place is gorgeous so yeah let's go and see what we can find in the abandoned chateau the chateau or castle is a historic building. It was built in the 19th century, replacing a 17th century chateau and standing on the original site of an 11th century monastery. It was famed for being Napoleon's favourite hunting lodge. It had a colourful, disgusting past. In the 1918, it was reported in a natural papers that the famous armistice papers were signed in the great hall of the reporters believing it was the only suitable venue in the area before adolf hitler in world war ii become into power the family hid all the valuables in a secret room in the library during the world war ii the german occupied the chateau and it was the Luftwaffe's headquarters then it was the headquarters of the RAF and then once the chateau was returned to its rightful owner in and after the war the valuables were luckily hadn't been discovered and in the 90s it was turned into a luxurious hotel then the project fell through in 2009. However, by 2014, it was run as a luxurious restaurant. The owner wasn't paying bills, so the local council or government took it away from him. And some homeless people found out it was empty and moved in and kind of wrecked it. And the owner found out the council and government didn't look after it, so he's taken it to the council or government to court and now it's an ongoing situation so the moment it's just being left empty and disused and abandoned let's have a look what it looks like in my video when i visited this abandoned chateau or castle
So we finished exploring this abandoned chateau. This place is absolutely lovely. You can try and see behind me all like the books where they used to be. This place is absolutely gorgeous. There's like champagne bottles like just left there for the next like people to have like a rave or party kind of thing. And there's like chairs laid out as you can see over there. This place is marvellous. And yeah, I'm going to try and find and leave any information down below in the description of this location. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And I will see you in another video soon. Over and out. Bye. Hello people and thank you for watching my video. And if you'd like to turn the bell on for notifications so you won't need to miss any videos which I upload. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And also don't forget to follow me on my social medias. The links will be in the description down below. You can follow me on my Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. And also thank you for watching once again. And I'll see you in another video. Over and out. Bye.